In Atlantis, we import the 3D scene and complete it with objects. Objects can be moved and deleted, which is not true for parts of the original 3D geometry. Clicking on this window pane, for example, the inspector will display an item called Scene, and the same will happen in the drawer. It shows that the window pane is part of the imported geometry, therefore it cannot be moved or changed separately. If we want to do so, we first need to detach it and create a separate object out of it. This can be done through a dialog you open by clicking on the arrow icon in the upper part of the drawer. First, select the window pane or any part of the 3D geometry you want to detach. Choose what you want to select – triangles, plans, parallel plans, meshes, or a material. You can also use the magic wand and let Artlantis detect 3D elements for you. Pick up one of these tools and make the selection in the preview window directly. Control the item you want to select from all views. If you make a wrong click and select something you don't need, deselect it with a control click or command click depending on your operating system. When the selection is done, set the other options. Name the new object, choose a destination layer, and choose how it should behave compared to its support – perpendicular or vertical. By checking the low radiosity option, you can simplify the radiosity calculation for this object in the final rendering. The object we are creating can be kept as an internal object and used only in this project or we can save an external object to be used in other projects too. In this second case, we can include one of the existing light groups to the object. In this case, I'll save this object internally. Once saved, the new object will appear on the selected layer. The inspector displays the editable parameters and the thumbnail contains the Artlantis logo. Now that it's detached, the window pane can be changed or even deleted. It has an anchor point on its center bottom side and it can be resized, rotated, or aligned like any Atlantis object. This cannot be undone or updated with the reference file feature. It's a good tool, however, for quick and small changes of the original geometry without needing to return to the CAD software.